Oh, hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use Audion login with SMS WordPress plugin with message 91. Okay. Well, this is a WordPress plugin which is available for free to download on WordPress or what it does is it basically allows your users to log in without their username, email or a password. Okay. So how do they actually log in then? Well, it actually gives you a pop-up onto the login form when the user clicks on login with sms and user can go ahead and enter their mobile number and then they will receive a verification code if the mobile number is registered onto the database and if they enter the correct verification code they will then be allowed to log in so it's basically login with sms functionality great awesome It offers you many features like um, it's compatible with all themes and plugins, it's fast and secure and it uses React onto the front end so it's super fast. Okay, uh, It's responsive, uh, it's translation ready, non-developer friendly which means even if you are not a developer you can still use it by watching this tutorial. It's got free updates uh, based on the feedback that we receive from our consumers and you can also use it with a free single international countries you can use it in another country as well okay we give you option to choose between these six top sms apis okay and we already tested with these uh, plugins now all we need is basically the api key so the first setting it asks for is select what you want to use so if you want to select uh, locally here in India then you select message 91 however if you want to use it abroad then you can select it a message 91 international so we'll go with this standard and I need an API key now so how do I get it you just have to log into message 91.com if you're not registered you can register and then log in go to the dashboard and click on API once you click on API you will get an auth key uh, they give you some free SMS already which you can use for testing and once you're satisfied then you can buy some packages with them okay then you can enter this okay and then it asks you for a sender id which needs to be the seven digits sorry uh, five one two three four five five uh, five characters okay six characters sorry so you need six characters for the sender id okay so let's do that so I'll say message SND. Okay, great. Then we need to know where in database is the mobile number saved. So generally, uh, plugins and themes store the user's mobile number in form of a meta key. Okay, so we just need to know the meta key. So let me give you an example. So if you go to PHP My Admin and if you go to your database, click on WP Users Meta, click on Browse. And then just select any of the user that is already registered in my case this user and can you see the mobile number is saved under this meta key so I just need to put the meta key over there and then it asks you whether uh, or not it is saved with the country code so if it's not then select no if it is select yes if there's a plus sign then you select this option okay then it asks you to put your country code so you select India or whichever country you're in and then select how many digits for the mobile number for validation so we select 10 for India and adaptive style means that uh, this uh, this plugin actually adapts to your theme style it tries to adapt it um, as much as possible okay then it asks you whether or not you already have a button that you want us to use to open the pop-up or you want us to create a button that opens up the pop-up where you can take the mobile number so if it's the first case then you select this option and just give us the selector for that if you don't have a button and you want us to create a button on the login form just give us the login form um, selector like a class name or a unique id okay great so in my case i already have a button so i'm going to use that uh, what i'm going to do is i'll just open the local wordpress install I have it inside of the WordPress login directory and I'm just going to open the login page which is that slash login and as you can see I already have a button even if you're not a developer don't worry just do an inspect element onto that button and you can see there is a class if it has an ID you can take that otherwise we'll keep it to class 
Just paste it here and make sure you prefix it with dot. If it's a class name, if it's an ID, then prefix it with hash. In our case, it's dot because it's a class name. And just save it and let the plugin take care of everything. You don't have to do anything. It's saved. All the settings are saved. We go back to the login page. And all we have to do is just hit login with SMS. Great. You can see there is a form already. We're just trying to adapt to your theme. You can see the same font uh, size and the font family. The button look and feel is similar and even the input. Now, let's see if the validation works first. I don't enter anything and I hit send. You can see it handles validation. If I enter less number of digits, it handles that as well. If I enter incorrect mobile number that isn't existing into the database, let's see what happens. You can see user not found, which means it won't allow me to log in if the user isn't present with that mobile number. So I'll put the correct one now. And let's just send. Uh, I think I missed the digit. And there you go. It's been sent and you would hear a beep shortly. Let's try. You heard that, right? Awesome. So I've got the message. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Okay, awesome. So let's first try to enter incorrect mobile number. Okay, let's enter the verification code. Let's enter, let's not enter anything first. You can see it handles error. Let's enter incorrect one. You can see it's incorrect. Okay, let's enter the correct one. So you guys already seen it. Tell me what it is. Is it 9175? Yes, it is. Awesome. So what do you think should happen? Well, ideally, you just should be, should be logged in if it's a correct validation code. So you can also send a verification code again by hitting this button. Let's try it. Verifying. You're now being logged in. Great, guys. Awesome. You're logged in. How do you know? He's logged in. Let's go back to the same page and ideally we shouldn't see that form, should we? We shouldn't. There you go. The form doesn't exist. You have a button to log out, which means the user is logged in. Awesome. Great. Perfect. So guys, you saw how simple and easy it was to use this plugin. It's plugin offering you many features already. And uh, if you did like it, go ahead and try it out. It's free on WordPress org. And uh, if you have any questions, leave in the comment box. And um, if you did like the video, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel because I do teach coding onto this channel. So you get lots and lots of information, educational and programming videos related to WordPress, um, Laravel, React, Node.js, all of that. Okay, awesome. So do hit the subscribe button and uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Twitter slash Imran it's a yeah, which is this one. Okay. And uh, that's it. I will see you next. Take care. Bye bye.